Oh my god! We're playing Mardek. Although not Chapter 3. The original, the classic, Chapter 1, A Fallen Star, and probably shortly thereafter, Chapter 2. Game name. Tass Plays. I think I already have a save file named Tass, so that's what I'm going with, Tass Plays. A Fallen Star. There is a dark fortress atop a craggy peak in the far-off Badlands. Where few men dare tread. This game is originally from 2007. Those that do never return. It was updated in 2010 with the release of Mardek 3. For a mighty beast, a dragon, makes its lair here. The dragon is fond of stealing maidens from their homes and has taken a beautiful princess from one of Belfen's greatest kingdoms. Well, what kingdom? It doesn't matter. Help! The damsel in distress, distress despair, something. There is only two brave men who can come to their rescue. Two mighty heroes, the greatest in the land. Who might that be? Who could they be? Look at those two dashing gallant warriors. And luckily they're on their way to save the princess right now. This game has an insane amount of dialogue and very, very little actual plot. Well, Dugan, this is the dragon's lair. Yes, Marduk, it is. We have to get to the dragon and slay it to rescue the princess! Tally-ho! What does tally-ho mean? Uh, I'm not sure, but I've heard adventurers say it before, maybe. It sounds like something they'd say. Tally-ho! Tally-ho! We're adventurers and guard! Farsooth! Bloody goblins! Tally-ho! Now let's go and save the princess. Tally-ho! Oh, but Marduk, just a reminder about things. We can open the menu with the Enter key to check our stats, skills, and items, and we can also open doors and talk to people and stuff with the X key. Yay, instructions! It might be a good idea to read the help section of the menu now if you didn't read the instructions already. I'm not going to do that for you. You can do it yourselves. Huh? Uh, I mean, tally-ho! Let's go and slay the dragon! Yay! So, yeah, um, before I continue reading this stuff, I'm just gonna preface and say this game has lots and lots and lots of dialogue. It is all about the plot. Uh, there is very, very little that actually happens and goes on, especially in Chapter 1. But, I will say that shortly after Chapter 1, I will be doing Chapter 2, which, while it does have lots and lots of dialogue and plot as well, does also have uh, a decent bit of action and adventure and fun. Uh, so, you know, if, if you don't want to see me read lots and lots of dialogue, well, you're going to. Remember, Marduk, with our super duper hero powers, we're practically invincible if we successfully use all of our reactions well enough with the X key, right when we attack or get attacked. But we've got to get the timing right, so let's experiment a bit and use these reactions to our advantage. Apparently, I have to mention this, or else you'll probably not figure it out. Huh? Let's just continue our way, Marduk. Tally ho! I want you to know that while I say tally ho every time, my right hand in is in a fist and in the air. Because tally ho seems way more appropriate if you stick your fist up in the air. Tally ho! Uh, there's nothing to eat any of the sides in this area. It's uh, completely linear. Except there are a couple of occasional uh, blue fights. So I'll just show off. This is what uh, the original fighting is like, just to do normal attacks. Uh, we'll attack the giant monster. Yay! Those are the reactions. Hitting X key within the little uh, boom, within that little gold area. Gives you reaction, but it doesn't really matter, because... Um, yeah, we're super powerful and we get a monster fang, which doesn't really do anything. Uh, if you get a blue fight, uh, which is a random encounter, and you hit the Z key quickly, you can ignore the fight. Uh, if they come up red, you cannot ignore them. See, I just hit the Z key real quick, so I ignored that fight, because um, I don't really want to show it off. There's no point to showing it off, really. Uh, if anything red comes up, though, that, that one we have to fight, because it's something that's, like, equally powerful with us. So, the dragon. Ha ha ha, heroes you are. Uh, what would a dragon say? You are pathetic mortals! I have a princess! You can't have this princess! This princess is mine! We will slay you, mighty dragon! For we are great and mighty heroes, even mightier than you! Tally-ho! Forsooth! My hand went in the air again. We'll kick your arse, dragon! Do dragons have arses? I bet they do! If they do, then we'll kick it like it has never been kicked before! Yeah, with our big swords! 
So bring it on, dragon! Ha ha ha, you will never defeat me! Oh no, epic fight! Oh, and I was too busy talking, so I missed my reaction. That's what happens if you miss a reaction. What powers do I have? Shock! Sunder! Pyromancy! Force! Let's try Thunder Magic, see what happens. Wow, and he's poisoned. Very cool, what? Smite! Shock! Uh, the dragon is evil, so Smite as a holy attack should do more damage. Ooh, 9999! <laughs> and when I react appropriately, he deals zero damage. Uh, let's try fire, uh, water this time, why not? Boom! And water's not very effective. Smite evil is, though. Bam! Uh, unless we can just do regular attacks. Uh, and Dragon apparently doesn't want to attack. Regular attack. Bam! 2,000. Do, 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 do. Bam! 7,000 with my holy S-word. S-word is a fun way of saying sword, because sword, uh, you know, it's a, it makes sense. Spell it out. Yay, the dragon is defeated! Victory! What? There was no items from the dragon. Oh dear, I have been slain! Well, we beat the dragon! Hey, look at that sexy princess. Oh, thank you so much for saving me, mighty heroes! Well, it was really all my fault. All your fault? Don't you mean all you're doing or something? Because that's not fair, we beat the dragon together! Well, I still get the princess. You can have her, she's a girl! Girls are head lice, I heard. They suck on your wallet and drain all your money, that's what my dad says. Really? Yeah, really, my dad told me, so it must be true. Now that we've beaten the dragon, though, now what will we do? It's getting late, I suppose we should head home. I bet our parents are worried. Okay, let's go back to Gosnor! And fighting the dragon was all the dream. But there is some tr potions in here. Uh, if you click up here, it gives you s all of these little bookshelves and stuff. They give you random storyline and plot and stuff like that. Uh, just so extra information. Not, not actually plot, just extra information about the world. Um, I'm not going to bother with that. And there's nothing up here. So if uh, you guys are more than welcome to read all of that extra stuff. I'm going to be doing plenty of reading as it is. Trust me. Heading to Gosnor. It is late at night, everything is locked down and closed, so we're just going to head home. Well, I'd better get myself home, so bye for now, Mardek. See you tomorrow for some more heroic adventures! And Dugan left. This is Dugan's house. This is Mardek's house. Well, Mom, I'm back! Oh, there you are, dear! How did your adventure with Dugan go? It was great! We slew a princess and saved a dragon! You did? That sounds unconventional. I mean, nice. Yes, that sounds nice, dear. I'm glad you had fun. Ah, <sighs> you're growing up to be just like your father. Only he slew dragons and never really saved any princesses. Except me. He used to call me his queen, you know. I do wonder where he is now, though. Well, I'm sure he'll be back soon, Mum. I hope you're right, dear. It's been so long. But I'm sure he'll be back eventually. I can sense it. Can you sense it too, dear? Well, I can sort of feel that he's not dead. Like, he's looking over me, but he's not dead? Yeah, that's what I feel too. It must be the spiritual link that we all share, as a family. Because those exist. Ah, your father, he was a great man. Enki the Wanderer, he used to be called, before he met me and we settled down and had you. He was, as I've told you many a time before now, an adventurer of great skill and renown, revered throughout the lands. Oh, I fancied him so much before I even met him. He was light, he, so he thought about others much more than himself. All he did was for people he usually didn't even know from Adam. He was kind, honest, and yet mysterious. Did you know that he never told me about his past? Well, you've told me like a million times, Mom. Well, I'll tell you again, he never did tell me about his mystery-shrouded past. But though I never knew about it, I never for one moment felt suspicious about him, like he might have been something bad once. He seemed to radiate this... This feeling that he was always a good man, and that he had his reasons for hiding things like he did. Sounds like foreshadowing to me. Sigh, I miss him so much. Well, I do too, Mum. I wish he'd get back soon. Don't worry, dear. He'll come back one day. One day. But it's getting pretty late now, Marduk. You should go to bed. Sweet dreams, dear. Sleep tight. Don't let the beg bugs randomly battle you during the night. Well, night, Mum. And let's head up to bed. Eh, we'll save. Because, why not? Uh, and I have stuff from chapter 3. Um, 
Oh, uh, that was my end of chapter one save from a couple, like, two days ago. So we'll just overwrite that. To bed! Yay, to bed. We slew a dragon today, guys. A dragon? Oh no, aliens! Aliens! They're going to stick things in our anus.